Here we have the front of lamb or the two shoulders. A little bit of work needs to be done to this one. Um, if it has bands on, we need to just remove those bands and we need to remove the scrag. Again, just sawing through the bone, not the meat. And as with any sawing, just remove any sawdust. What we need to do now is to separate the two shoulders. We could saw down the centre, but on this one I want to sheet the shoulders away from the rib cage. And to do that, we're going to follow this centre bone, centre of the backbone, working down both sides of that bone. Turn over, and now we're going to work down onto the ribs and sheet the meat away from that rib cage. And that gives us our whole shoulder of lamb. Let's take the knuckle off before taking I want to remove the shank through the joint. Now we need to bone out the shoulder which has two remaining bones left in it. Cutting down onto the blade bone, using the point of the knife, work the meat from off the bone. So we're exposing the underside bone. Work round. Blade bone and through the ball joint. Now we need to work on the underside of the blade, just taking care not to go through any of the flesh. Out comes the blade bone. Now we need to remove the remaining bone. Some will say actually tunnel round both sides and work through, but I prefer to actually open the shoulder up so that we can actually see where the bone is and also we can remove any visible pockets of fat or connective tissue. the main arm bone. 
Then we have the boneless shoulder that we need to trim up to an acceptable level. So we need to remove any internal pockets of fat. Any glands or any blood meat. With this large triangular wedge of fat, you often find a gland, so make sure that one comes out. Any connective gristles or tendons should be removed. Don't forget we have two sides to the shoulder. So if there's a little of excess fat around and blood meat around the, the shank area, we just need to trim that off as well. When we're happy with that, the last thing to come off, remove the large yellow gristle along the back line. Now it's all fully boneless and fully trimmed, we need to put this into a uniform shape and securely tie it. This can be done with either stringing or with roasting bands. So place roasting bands around the boneless joint at nice even intervals. with these roasting bands are that once they're on you can tidy them up to make a presentable joint. And there we have our boned and rolled shoulder of lamp.